day, grade eight. Welcome to our social studies class. Today, we officially begin our topic, hazards and disaster. It is important that you pay keen attention to what will be done in this presentation, because at the end of the presentation, um, there will be questions that will be sent to your WhatsApp group for which you'll be required to answer. Please do these questions in your notebooks and you're going to retain those answers in your notebooks until I return for them to be marked. Do not hand them in because you will need the books for the next class, okay? In front of you is the handout that I've been speaking to you about that you will be required to possess, um, the one that you have been so far been making some contributions to. It is important if you have not yet done so that you save towards your handout um, because you must have it. At the end of the handout, there are two activities, if my memory serves me correct, that you'll be required to do. So the grade from those activities will go towards your grades for your end of year report, end of term report. So do not take this presentation lightly, do not take the activities lightly. It's very, very important. So let's begin. Oh, what I'll be doing is just wetting your appetite with a portion of, of what the handout is about. I will also be introducing you to a, share with you a short video presentation that I'm going to ask you to watch because based on the presentation that will be done, video and handout, the questions will be asked for which you'll be required to answer. All right, hazards and disasters. The Caribbean region is a beautiful region in the world with some of the most precious and exquisite attractions. These attractions range from its fauna, which has to do with animal life forms, and flora, which has to do with plant life forms, to its artifacts and people. Artifacts here has to do with historical relics. Yet all this beauty is subjected every day to hazards and disasters, either those that are created by nature or those that are created by you and I. Hence, you have the created and the natural. So what are natural hazards? Sorry, what is a hazard? A hazard is an occurrence or an event which has the potential to cause harm, destruction, or destruction to people, livestock, and property. In layman term, a hazard is something that has not yet happened, but it does have the potential to cause destruction, to do damage, to cause death or to cause harm. It does not yet happen, but it can happen. That's what a hazard is. Hazards, therefore, can be divided into two categories, natural hazards and created hazards. Natural hazards are those natural events, the word you have there is occurrences, which have the potential to cause harm, death and destruction to life and property. Examples of these are hurricanes, floods, um, earthquakes, and droughts. So in other words, natural hazards are all those things that are in nature that have not yet happened, but they have the potential to cause harm. Every year, Jamaica goes through a period that is, that is called the hurricane period or the hurricane season. But it is not every year that Jamaica gets a hurricane. So the, the, the potential is there for us to get the hurricane, but it does not happen. That's the hazard. Um, all year long, Jamaica has the potential to be struck by an earthquake, but we don't get an earthquake every year. But the potential still exists that we can get an earthquake. That's a hazard. Um, and those are natural. Created hazards, on the other hand, are events or occurrences that human, um, by humans, which have the potential to cause harm and destruction to life and property. Examples are like air pollution, water pollution, um, toxic pollution, things that we do. All right? so, the, so the actions that we get involved in that can cause harm or danger because we are not careful of the things that we do. Those are created hazards. Some simple created um, hazards can also be like your parent um, planning to paint the house and they lean a ladder against the house. And the, the ladder is not firmly anchored and you walk under and, and you 
you are planning to walk under the ladder. The, the placing of the ladder against the house side can, um, is a potential hazard. If you walk under it, that ladder can fall and hit you. But it has not yet occurred, so that's a potential hazard. Or let me do an, an, an easier one. You have containers thrown around the back of your yard. They can catch water, can build up mosquito, can cause dengue. We are in the dengue season now. Are you with me, everybody? So the potential is there that we have caused. We are creating it, but it has not yet occurred. And those are created hazards. So now that we understand what hazards are, the question is, what are disasters? Disasters are natural occurrences of a hazard which, has the, which can cause harm, death, or destruction to life and property. So each year, the Caribbean is subject to natural hazards such as the hurricane. The potential is always there. That's a potential hazard. The potential is, well, let, let, let's go again. Let's go again. So, so a, a, a hazard is the occurrence, the event that has taken place that causes harm or destruction or death or damage. So it's the actual occurrence, the actual event that takes place. All right. Now, like hazards, disasters can be um, placed into two categories. You have the potential disaster. Um, sorry, you have the natural disaster. I'm sorry. And you have the created disaster. The natural disaster, like the hurricane, is the natural occurrence that actually takes place that does cause harm and death and destruction. So the hurricane, the earthquake, the tsunami, those are natural, the landslide, the flooding, those are natural disasters that take place that cause destruction and harm and death to livestock and animals. Okay? The created disasters are the ones that we as human beings cause to happen. So that these are the, the events that take place that are caused by humans that, cause, that, that causes the actual harm and um, destruction and death to livestock and property. So some examples of created disasters would be like oil spills, would be like um, toxic air pollution, water pollution. We are the ones who do, the, do things to harm the environment that causes harm and destruction. All right, so let's pause for a second and get it together. When we talk about disasters, these are the natural things that occur. And disasters happen in two phases, natural and created. They actually occur, all right? Now, what I'm going to do here now is to pause um, the note and introduce you to a video that I'd like you to watch, which gives a little bit more on what I'm, I've been saying here. All right, so watch and enjoy.
Have a great day, everyone.